Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Got a little job here today uh, fixing a bolt pattern. I'm putting a turbocharger on an N14 Cummins and it has a proprietary flange and I'm putting just a regular T6 footed charger on it. So these holes are off like a quarter of an inch is all the difference is. Why they couldn't make their standard, I have no idea. Probably because they didn't want you buying a regular turbocharger to put on it, they wanted you to buy theirs. So we're going to work our way around that and modify this housing to fit, cut the quarter inch out. So nothing super special about this, but the work holding is maybe a little interesting. So this is kind of an example of why a horizontal mill is handy to have around as well as a vertical mill because it makes doing this job a lot easier. Let's take a look. So this is my setup here. Let's turn like that. And right now I can push back on this flange and this can't go anywhere because I've got it stopped here with this stop block. And I've got the back end here also uh, bolted down and spacered so that the housing can't go back. And then I've got it clamped down with a T-bolt. And I've got two nice machine surfaces that are known to be parallel to this because of how they did it when they made it. So I can clamp these and get it nice and straight. And all I gotta do is just be sure this is twisted right for this to be straight. And I can see that it's parallel uh, within a couple thousandths. And these are clearance bolt holes, so it doesn't need to be within two or three thousandths. Five would be plenty good enough. So all I gotta do now is get my end mill deal in here and open these holes out. So. Let me get that done and bring you back. I need to be able to clear this so I can tilt it one way and do the one hole and then tilt it the other way and do the other hole. So that's why I got that set up like that rather than just having the stop block all the way up against it. Uh, then the hole would punch into my stop block and I don't want that. So. That there will do the purpose of not letting it push back. It's pretty good anyway. I can't push it, so should be fine. Let's fire the mill up.
there it is. Holes line up good, so didn't take a lot to modify this to make it work. So this will be able to be put on and update the technology 20 years, lower some EGTs, make some more power, save some more fuel. So enjoyed getting to see that quick little job on the HPM. Uh, so it was mainly just about setup and work holding. Uh, nothing special about the job itself or really all that interesting. But I hope you found it interesting and maybe learned something about work holding or different ways you can block things up and approach the job from different angles. Not everything's held in the vice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.